Yeah, it, it's awesome, really, as the Americans would say. And, and I brought this group here today, and we're very taken with the whole arena and everything. And uh, uh, the the pitch and being inside being beside the pitch might be our only opportunity to achieve that. And uh, but as the whole occasion then on uh, Saturday there, the whole peninsula is eagerly looking forward to it. It's a great community event there. There's a number of supporters, buses being organised and all that. You have flags and buntings up all over Dingle there. And from Onaskal back to Slayhead there, you know, the, the, the everybody is very enthusiastic and looking forward to it. And talk to me about the buzz last year. What was it like being here last year? Well, again, last year was our first time to win a Hogan in 10 years. We've been fortunate to win a few more. Uh, over the years, 89, 19, 95, 2003, last year just reignited for us the whole euphoria that comes with being all Ireland champions to come here and play in Crow Park. Marty and Sean Marty had the team prepared tremendously to play as they did here in Crow Park. It just reignited the whole flame of McCrory, the whole flame of Hogan, the whole flame of Gaelic football again for us in the school. And what we're hoping is that that inspires a generation of kids again then to want to say, well, hey, any chance we can get to there? There's something very special when a team from your locality is involved. And um, this team, you're talking about three clubs, really. You're talking about Dingle, you're talking about Anguilta, you're talking about Lisboa. So three clubs there, and people down there have a great affiliation for, for their native place there. And there'll be a great turnout on Saturday. What sort of support and experience and expertise can you draw on from Kerry, from maybe past pupils or people in the area who've been here before? Uh, well, if you go back to even the 1930s and 40s there, um, we would have had four or five uh, players there from West Kerry and from Dingle involved in the teams back then. And in the 70s and 80s then, you would have had Paddy O'Shea and Tommy Doyle come to mind there. And uh, in the team of, the, we say, from... 95 up till the, the recent vintage there you have had the O'Shea's you have had the Rock Canadian you've had Edom McGarrett and all those and the lads and Tommy Griffin who and Tommy incidentally is our physical trainer as well and uh, they have inspired lads and not, not to mention Amy Fitzmaurice then the current Kerry manager he's also the manager of our team and the lads look up to him in a big way and draw great inspiration from him well, that's all the romance. Now let's have the reality. You're playing a juggernaut of a team, St. Patrick's Maharaj, the champions, going for back-to-back. -back. How are you going to beat them? Are we going to beat them? Well, we have a great respect for them. I remember looking at them last year when the, in the, against Navin. They were highly impressive. They're a big physical team with no shortage of skill. However, we have big players as well, and we're not lacking skill either. They're down to win, and, and so are we. So I'm sure both teams have their, have their strengths and uh, weaknesses, but I think, you know, the best thing is to count. It. We just concentrate on our own game and our own strengths. You're talking a lot there about tradition. How big a deal is it to go for a back-to-back? -back? What does that mean to St. Patrick's Maharaj, given their history? Well, we've been fortunate in that 89 90 Adrian brought us through in 89, won our first Hogan and then came back in 1990. That came after a number of years of frustration for Adrian. Uh, to be able to do that again, Adrian had us in finals in 94, 95, 96, from which we won 95 and lost the other two. So if we were able to come here now and do a back-to-back -back title, well, it just really puts us at the pinnacle of what we have been achieving over the years. It sets a standard for us in terms of performance, in terms of achievement or whatever. And it's something that the boys, because a number of these boys were involved last year as well, it sets a standard and a memory for the boys that will last their lifetime.